Hello everybody and welcome. Um, just carrying on here outside, finishing off some more of these hanging wall vases. But before I do that, before I forget, I just wanted to do a plug for my, my L brother Jeremy over there in England, United Kingdom. Because he is having a half price sale that's this coming 23rd and 24th, Friday and Saturday, at the Lower Down Pottery. He's having a half price sale in aid of the Macmillan Cancer Support. So it's really more directed this for the people in the UK, but if there's anybody watching me from UK who might be interested in going down to Lower Down, there's a half price sale that going on down there. And um, in fact, Jeremy's telephone number well, I'll give you if you want to inquire about that is 01626 833408. You can get in touch with him if you want to know more details. Um, so that's this coming Friday and Saturday, 23rd and 24th of April, St. George's Day. So that's for Jeremy. I've done my little plug for one of my brothers. <laughs> I have to keep supporting my brothers, you know. Well, they're very supportive of me, of course. Anyway, um, I'm just going to bring you in on something I'm doing here. I'm just going to pass the camera by. Uh, I'll just show you. I've just done some, some wall vases down there. As you can see, those have been... Um, I've just been playing around, really, as I, as I do, you know. But, I mean... It's just with a bit of white slip. Um, these are slightly bigger ones, these ones. Just trying to be a bit creative, just getting into the flow, you know? But get that creativity flowing. It doesn't always happen immediately. I expect you're aware of that, aren't you? When you sit down to do something, you just feel like there's like you've sort of got creative constipation, you know, nothing is sort of flowing. Um, it can be so, and you need to persevere and not just give up and think, oh well. So, you know, hang on in there. I've just done this, this is the, this is the, white, the white slip I, I, I spoke to you about, and this is just a bit of iron oxide which I put on over the top. It won't come out red like that afterwards, it'll come out more uh, of a... Um, a darker, a darker brown colour, because these are only going to be bisque fired up to 1800 Fahrenheit or around about 1000, 1000 degrees centigrade. I've still got a few more though over there, a bit as I point the camera, over there still some under wraps that I haven't put the lugs on, so I just want to just bring us in on that quickly because they need to, I need to get on with those because being outside and the weather is a little bit, it's warming up, you know. Um, bueno. También quiero, uh, también quiero seguir en, en castellano un poquito. So, I've got the I've got these up here, I've just got to be very careful now, I've got to keep these nice and damp on the rims where the, the lug is going to go, the little lugged handle. So, first of all, I've just got to roll out a few of these on here. La la la. Vamos a poner la, las asas encima de estos eh, macetas. Este tipo de maceta que está colgado a la pared. Now.
voy cortando moscas flies here so we're going to take one of these you see me do this the other day but You've got a little bit of slurry from your your tray. It's helpful. Go take the, the little hand, the little round sausage that you've rolled, bend it into a little curve, and locate him on the top there of the of the rim like that. Now carefully, con cuidado ahora, juntando las dos joining the two together. It's nice being out here outside. The one disadvantage is though that the noise of the river, I am aware, is picking up on the microphone. However, just have to bear with us. It's rather nice to be out here. A veces el sonido de la ruido del río está grabado ahí en el micrófono. So, after you put the handle on, después de montar la asa, hay que mirar que está bien puesto. You have to look to make sure you put it on straight very easy to put them on and they're not straight. So bear that in mind. I have already, I think I, think I have, maybe I didn't. These are just simply thumbed off on the bottom. Ahí abajo con el pulgar hay, hay que terminar así, ya está. No hay de recortar. No trimming, please, no trimming. These are hanging wool vases. We don't want to... No, I didn't finish them. I thought I had, but I didn't. So, with the thumb, just go round like that. Find the place where you think it should go in the middle, and then just indent with your fingernail all the way along like that and then with a little bit of a little bit of slurry we've got some take your handle I sort of twiddle it like this and then bend it it gives me this shape mount the handle Montar la asa así. Juntar las dos. Las dos piezas. Join the two together. La la la. Let me just bring the camera in for a little bit of detail. It's always good a bit of detail. Un poco más cerca por un poco más detalle. A ver. You can just maybe see what I'm going to do there. I have to remember to pull back the camera, otherwise we're going to be... Okay, so there, having, having joined it, después de juntar, 
I, I grip it like that and then I push in and do like that. And I do that two or three times. That's what we're busy, let's see. It kind of gives a nice slope, a little join there. I, I like the line, that continuing line. Una vez, dos veces. Yes, this place. Okay, so you get that. Okay, just wanted to give you that little bit of detail. La la la. Oh, it's lovely here, isn't it? With a river flowing. We've even got trout in the river. I get my fishing or get a fishing rod, I haven't got one. So ah these need to have a seal on them. Well, so I'm just gonna put that on. On the back there. Like that. And the next one. Try not to let the rims get so hard, otherwise too hard, otherwise the, the handles will crack off. It's important que está bien húmedo arriba aquí. Entonces la asa puede puede coger bien. Si es demasiado seco, no, no va a coger bien. Y luego hace, hace grietas. So. Next one. La, 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 la. This bit. Terminando como antes, finishing off like before. Okay. Vamos a mirar a ver si está recta. Bien. Okay. Look, looking good. Looking good. Get your seal. Smack it on. Don't forget to thumb off the base. So you haven't got an ugly sharp corner. And preferably, preferably um, when you throw it, you put a bevel in to facilitate this thumbing off process. That's quite important because you save yourself a lot of time now if you bothered to take time earlier when you threw it by putting in that angle. If you didn't, you pay for it now. And there we are. That's three done and I've got another four more to go, but I'm not going to do those now in front of you because the clip is drawing to a close. Vamos a terminar porque ahora tengo cuatro más y yo voy a hacer los estos en un momento. Vale, okay, everybody. Beautiful afternoon. Try and get outside, put your wheel outside if you can. Get out in the garden with your wheel, maybe. Anyway, keep practicing.
That's the secret. Bye-bye now.